four wins at home in a row, the confidence must be good that you can now begin to take this sort of form on the road. Yeah, um, we've got obviously the four wins on, on, the, on the balance at home. Um, all the boys are confident um, to go away from home now and pick up some points. What's it going to take to actually do that? Because the performances have been there and you've been unlucky recently with you know, various decisions as, as much as anything else. So you've been close. But what's it actually going to take to you know, turn performances into points? As long as we just keep on performing, I think we have, um, we've made a couple of... Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? We've made a couple of um, changes to the team where we we've been a bit more direct. So I think we will get that that chances the chances to um, actually score some goals now. And one of the things that's changed in the team, two up front now, you've come into the side as well, a little bit further advanced. How, how much do you feel that's suiting you? Um, I've just been given more of the license to um, express myself down that side, down the left hand side, and to be more more direct. So it's, it suits me to down to the team, really. And does it help that you've got two men up front to try and hit? Yeah, like we can, it, we can, we can cross the ball now. Um, before when we had one in the box, it's, it's really a lottery. We do cross the ball to maybe hit the hit Doji when he was on his own up there. Mark Cooper said your second half performance against Stevenage was fantastic. First half, not quite as good. Um, he's threatening to build a dugout on the other side of the pitch. How do you react yeah, to that? He said this a couple of times to me. Um, I think uh, first half, I couldn't really get in the game. Um, he's, he's tweaked my position in, um, in the second half and I've really I've had a good, good second half. Yeah, and w when you sort of hear that, that motivation, he's obviously doing something that's managing to, to bring the best out of you. Yeah, um, that that's his way of uh, getting the best out of me. Really, he quite he grills me. To be fair, he grills me. I mean, do you feel you're the sort of character who needs that then sometimes? Yeah, I do. To be fair, I do. Right. Okay. And um, I mean, he's also suggesting putting a member of the coaching staff over. So you know, not quite the dugout, but mm -hmm. maybe just so there's someone in in your ear all the time. Is that a help or a hindrance? Um, I I I think it's just coincidence that I have better second halves than first halves. So. It could work, it might not. It's you your know. fitness coming into play, isn't it? Maybe, maybe. Yeah, OK. Um, obviously, Morecambe below you in the table, so the pressure will be on them. And, you know, if you avoid defeat, you stay above them. Yeah, this is a massive game for us this, this Saturday. So, if we get a win tomorrow, it really does help us like, push up the table, get yeah. away from the bottom. The way that Forest Green have climbed in recent weeks, do you feel the confidence is rising? Yeah, definitely. The confidence is rising. Um, we've got... Probably a happier camp. We've always we've always been confident that um, we'd we'd win games. We just we just waiting for that win. But now I think the ball's rolling. We're not going to stop. And you've got some experienced players in who've played quite a you know number of seasons in the football league. The likes of Ruben Reed. Is he a reassuring presence around the camp? Yeah, definitely. Like he gives um gives certain advice and he the way he talks like you feel confident in what he's talking about. So you, you listen. A lot of players listen. So everyone's learning now.